Gun violence has been on the rise in Lafayette over the last four years. News 18 Samantha Tiki sat down with the outgoing chief of Lafayette Police Department to break down those most recent statistics and she reports now what those numbers reveal and how it's going to take a community effort to change them. Two percent of this, the people in this community are driving about 95 percent of the work that we do here at, at LPD. That's what Lafayette Police Chief Patrick Flannelly says the department has spent the last several years trying to change. People come and go. They move from place to place and, and crime follows people. According to LPD statistics, there were 111 robberies in 2020, but that number was cut in half in 2021. Flannelly credits the work of several different groups within the department. We try to give them the best information that we can in the most timely manner that we can so we can recognize trends, patterns, problems at, at the earliest possible time. But gun violence is Flannelly's biggest concern. He says the number of shootings began to rise in 2018, but then doubled in 2019. They peaked in 2020, but things began to improve last year. Fortunately, even uh, this year, we see those numbers declining again. There were seven homicides in 2020. Flannelly says that's the most the city has seen since the late 1970s. Lafayette had six homicides last year, but Flannelly says police can only do so much to stop violent crime. There are educational things that we can do. There's community outreach things that we can do that can hopefully educate people and turn the tide on certain things. But in the end, you know, we're reacting when something happens. He says education is key to creating a safer community. That's what it takes to reduce crime in a community. It, it, if you ask the police solely to do that, it's you're never going to have success. It just it won't work that way. Although the department has expanded its community outreach, he says everyone needs to play their part by volunteering for programs, especially ones involving youth. It's not what you say that sets your priorities. It's what you do that establishes your priorities. So if we want a safer community, then we all got to do our part. Reporting in Lafayette, Samantha Tiki, News 18. And Chief Flannelly says another way to prevent crime is with communication. He urges people to say something when you see something that doesn't seem right. Flannelly also encourages people to sign up for the Nextdoor app.